Okay, so um, welcome to the folks who've just joined us. I, I do have a suggestion in the chat, so that's great. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep on going, but if you have a suggestion for something you want to look for, um, please enter it in the question box, and we'll work it into the demo. Okay. All right. So, oops. Um, we're kind of following our standard format. So we're going to talk about what MyNet is, um, what, we, what services we offer. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about using images that aren't yours. Um, and specifically, we're going to kind of talk a little bit about Creative Commons licenses, uh, attribution, and the fun part is the sources of images. So we're going to look at a few sources um, that might be useful for um, using images. All right. So um, MyNet, if you if you aren't familiar, is uh, a service that's run out of the University of Manitoba, and we provide library service to folks um, working in various health regions outside of Winnipeg and Brandon, and uh, also we serve fee-for-service physicians across the province and folks who work uh, in Manitoba Health and Seniors Care. Um, it's it's all it's all free, <laughs> so free to you anyway. Um, so there there are no fees in in order to use our service, um, as long as you're one of those eligible groups. And we recommend that uh, if you don't have a library card, um, you, you get one before it becomes like a, a super emergency and you need something right now, and then you have to go through the process of of getting a card first. So. Um, it's pretty easy. You go to our website and there's a form that you would fill out and then you would send that along with uh, either a, like a picture or a scan of your work ID. Um, if you're a physician, uh, it'd be like your doctor's Manitoba. Um, and then we would set you up and you'd be good to go. All right. Um, the team, we've, we've got pictures of the team here. So there's me. My colleague Orvi, she's the primary contact for folks out in the uh, health regions. Um, and Cheryl down in the bottom corner, if you've ever ordered an article, um, she is the wizard that gets hold of all those things and sends them on to you. Okay. So, um, images. Can you use an image that's not yours, right? Is, is, this, is this allowed? And the good news is yes, sometimes. Um, it depends on the circumstances. So, if you get permission from the person who owns the, the image, who created the image, um, oops, you can also pay for the rights. If if it's um, like you know, if stock photos, that kind of thing, you can you can pay to use um, images. Okay, we've got the principle of of fair dealing, which we're going to talk about um, a little bit more, but that's. Um, that's usually what in like the education sec sector, that's kind of what they rely on. Like if you're making a copy of an article or things like that for like research and such. Oh, I'm having a hard time with my slides here. Sorry about this. Um, and there's also um, items that sometimes are in what's called the Creative Commons licensing scheme or the public domain. We're gonna talk about that in a couple of minutes. And man, oh man. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> kind of a, a neat little um, that we a lot that is helpful um, is is this one here. Can I use this picture? And I've got the link in the slide here. Um, after the session is over, we're going to send out uh, handouts so you don't have to worry about writing it down. Um, but basically, it's a little flow chart. It's like okay. I mean, things you need to ask yourself if um, if the picture that you want to use is something that you can use, right? Okay, so I'm sure that we've all heard about copyright, um, and basically, it's 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 the right to make copies, to use an image um, or a text, right? And um, a lot of times that is held by the person who created that image. Um, there are some situations where the person who created something doesn't actually own the copyright. Um, so for example, there are some times where if you um, created something as part of your work, then your employer might own the copyright. Um, or if if you ever do um, any sci like scientific articles, um, 
a lot of times the the publishers require that you you give them you give them their copyright the copyright pardon me um, so it no longer belongs to the authors it belongs to the publisher right um, so you have to kind of be aware of who actually owns the copyright for something okay and copyright law is really really boring and complicated uh, and we're not going to talk about it a whole lot um, but it's important to know that it it depends on where you live right so each country has their own set of uh, laws relating to copyright um, and they, they're usually pretty similar but um, they're not necessarily the same right so if if you're using information that Pertains, pertains to US law, that's not necessarily going to be the case in Canada. And um, I'm thinking in particular about fair dealing, right? So if you hear people talk about fair use, that's actually uh, relating to the states, what their, what their legislation says is um, fair use. Uh, we have fair dealing, which is similar, but not exactly the same. And basically, it's it that's that, that clause saying, you know, if it's if it's for your own personal research, um, education, satire, parody, that kind of thing, um, then you you can use a, a piece of copyrighted work. You can't use the whole thing necessarily. Um, like for example, you can't make a, a photocopy of a, like a 500 page textbook or something. They that's not considered fair dealing. Um, but you could get a chapter, right? As an example. Right, so um, what counts as fair dealing is kind of, um, I won't say fuzzy, but it, it depends on a bunch of things, right? So what were you using it for? Is this something that you're making money off of? Um, are you Im impeding the copyright holder's ability to make money? Like, um, that's, that's a consideration. And um, yeah, like, is this something that's in the public interest? All kinds, all kinds of things um, kind of come into play. So, uh, if you are interested in learning a bit more about copyright, Ryerson has a very nifty copyright basics um, section on on their website, which um, which we like a lot. Uh, has to do with their library. So, I would encourage you to to read more about that if you if you are so inclined. All right. Okay. So. Public domain is something I mentioned, and basically anything in the public domain does not have copyright associated with it. Um, and this is usually kind of uh, the really old stuff, right? So if something was um, published in like, I don't know, 1872, there's there's no copyright on that. Like that's, that's just out there, anyone can use it. Um, and, the most most of the stuff that's on the internet is not in the public domain. Like it's it's out there, the public can get at it, but that doesn't mean that there's no copyright attached. Okay. Um, a quick note about about public domain is that even though something might be old, like you know, like Alice in Wonderland or something like that, if there's a new version of something, so if there's like a a new new edited version, so like a translation, a new translation. Um, you know things along along that line copyright does apply there right so um just something something to keep in mind okay um for for our purposes the images stuff um if you're looking for for healthcare type things there's there's a lot of sources um most us government publications are in the public domain um, just because that's the, the nature of, of how they've set things up for themselves. Um, there are some exceptions, so you do need to double check to see what it says the permissions are for using things. Um, but they can often be um, a good source. Um, the Canadian government publications are not automatically in the public domain. They, they, they have crown copyright, right? Um, so just like anything produced by anyone else, um, copyright is going to apply and you'd have to uh, make sure you're either operating within uh, fair dealing or get uh, permission to use things, that kind of stuff. Okay, so I am going to uh, pause for a second because I feel like I went through this really fast. I'm going to have a drink of my drink and um, we can see if there's any, any questions about this stuff so far.
I'm not seeing anything, so we'll just keep going. I realize this is not the most exciting part, um, but it is, is it is important to know. Okay. Um, now, Creative Commons. This is this is kind of a different, exciting thing. So, with Creative Commons, people have said, okay, I want to make my work available either within certain limits or just generally speaking, and so then they can apply what's called a Creative Commons license to something that's brand shiny new um, that outlines what people are and are not allowed to do with these these works. Right. So it's kind of a, <laughs> a spectrum of openness, right? So um, down at the very bottom, you know, you can see that that little copyright symbol. It's like all rights are reserved. That is the least flexible, right? Um, if you move up a little bit, there is um, what's called the sharing band, right? So we've got a um, little circle with the uh, person says buy. That means you need to give attributions, you know, credit to whoever whoever did the work. Um, and then there's other things as well, right? So you see like the, the money sign with, with the little stroke through it. Um, so in that case, it's like, you are not allowed to use this um, to make money, right? Um, likewise, there's a little equal sign. So anything you do has to be exactly the same. You can't change the picture um, and, and, you know, just go with it. You, you, they don't want people making any adjustments. Right, so as you go up, um, it gets more and more open. We've got um, at, towards the top, you know, fewer and fewer of those little symbols. And so if if you just have like that CC and the buy, all you got to do is credit them. They're they're good, you know. Um, use it for whatever you want. They don't mind, right? Um, and there is information about the Creative Commons. Um, licensing all what all the different symbols mean online um i've got a handout that i'm going to send to you guys afterwards and that's got a link to the creative com creative commons information um so you can you can have a look at that as well okay all right so um which is actually this, this link here sorry about that um but yeah so basically there's there's the four four things it's like you got to you got to attribute at the very least um whether or not they allow commercial use uh derivatives and then that little kind of circular thing is share alike so if you make something new with what they've what they've created then you have to also make it available under the same license right that's their conditions all right so I keep talking about attribution because that's it's just you know the right thing to do to give people credit for their work. Um, and when you're using an image, um, particularly with like a Creative Commons license, um, there's there's like a format. So like if you're writing a paper or something, they they have those formats for citing articles. Um, same goes for uh, this stuff. So you'd want to have the title. If this is something that's online, you'd want to make that a, an active link. Um, otherwise, you could have it as a as like a H, HTML link, just written out who the author is, what the source, and the type of license, um, and preferably with a link to a description, so that people understand what that means. All right. Um, just like captions, you would put that underneath the actual item itself if you could, um, but if you couldn't, you could just list it at the end, um, along with any other sources that you've used for for whatever it is you're doing. Okay, and we, we've got an example. Um, so here is a screenshot of a, a picture from Flickr. It's some some poor nurse who is just drowning in books, um, lots of literature out there. Um, and so if we were to use that, we would say, you know, this is the title, Nursing Books. We've got a link, you can see that it's active. Um, we've got the author, and we can see that it's licensed under this particular Creative Commons license. Uh, and if we were to click on that, it would take us to a description of what that means. Okay. All right. So uh, before we jump into the actually looking for stuff, are there are there any questions on things or Creative Commons? All right. Well, in that case, 
let's do that. I'm going to just make this smaller. And um, I wanted to say, uh, first of all, that there, like, there are tons of different places that you can look. Um, and what you look for is going to determine where you look to, right? Um, so this is an example here uh, from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, they have a public health image library. Right, so if you're if you've got a kind of public health oriented kind of thing you want to find, this this is a good start, right? Um, so if you if you scroll down the page here, you can do um, a bit of browsing, right? So you say, oh, I want the developmental milestones, or I'm interested in environmental health, or something like that, and then you can just kind of see what's there. Um, alternatively, you can also use the search. I'm actually going to switch to the advanced search just so it's bigger on the page, okay? So um, here we can see, uh, we we can limit kind of to different languages. If I want English, um, they've got all kinds. Um, you can say that you're looking for all these words or an exact word or phrase. Um, and you can say, you know, I don't want any of these words, right? So if anyone has ever done an, um, our Google um, webinar. This should this should be familiar, right? So you can do phrases, or or you can say I want this, but you know, not things that have this other term. Okay, so um, I am going to try and look for. Um, let's try. Um, do the general search box. So fruit. Okay, so we've got all kinds of options in our results here. We've got all, we've got videos, journals, and podcasts, so that's kind of interesting. Um, let's see what happens. So I click on fruit and vegetable seed. Not about idle curiosity. So, ah, see, this is not what we wanted, was it? This is looking for actual information. So let's kind of go back. I'm leading you astray. Let's just do the search box there. Okay, so let's do fruit. Well, this is interesting. Ah, there's my there's my problem right there. Teachable moment. The search box at the top is for the CDC in general. The image search is in page. I have used this before, I swear, um, but no worries. So if we look for search, um, look for fruit in our search, this is more like what we wanted to see, right? So we've got a whole pile of images. It says there's 167. That's a lot. Um, you can see there's somebody who's having some lunch there in the corner. Um, we might want to try and look for specific fruit, right? So if we're looking for apples, for example. Um, so we've got a whole pile of pictures to do with apples. Um, so we've got a little bit of a, a display going on here. So let's see what happens. If I click on that, we should get more information with this particular picture, right? So it's got a description. Um, it has a link for a high resolution image. So if you were wanting to use a image for something that was very large, you're gonna blow it up, that kind of thing. Uh, generally higher resolution is better. Um, it does take up more more memory though, so something something to keep in mind. And we can continue going down. We've got kind of how this particular thing has been classified, right? So we've got, um, you know, industry, food industry, food handling, food technology, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then at the very bottom, it says this is in the public domain and thus free of any copyright restrictions. So that's pretty awesome. Um, we can we can take this picture and we can do whatever we want with it. Is what it boils down to, right? Um, if we go back, back to search, and let's say, oh, I'm going to look for a fruit display. Let's see what let's see what we get. Okay, it didn't it didn't like fruit display. Um, so sometimes you just have to go a little simpler. Um, than than uh, than you might on your first try. Okay.
Any any uh, questions or thoughts about um, this particular site? Take that as a no. All right. So, so that's 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 a pretty good one. I like the public health image library. Um, and like I said, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Um, they've got food. They've got you know lab type things. You know they've got electromagnetic. Im I think that's what that stands for. EM imagery. All kinds of stuff. Okay. Another kind of more general source that. Um, that I have found to be useful is the Wikimedia Commons, right? And this is, um, again, this the link to this is going to be in your handout. Um, and this one is is just a general kind of site. So it's not just health things, um, all kinds of pictures. And you can see they've got a picture of the day um, in honor of Indep the Independence Day of for Ukraine. So that's very pretty. Um, let's say we want to look for um, healthcare staff. So health care staff, we'll see what we get. And okay, so we got a whole pile of pictures. I'm, I'm guessing that um, some of these are from uh, US government sites, folks from the military, etc. We can kind of scroll through, see if anything looks interesting. I'm going to actually make that a little more specific. I'm going to look for nurses, right? And we're going to see what we get. Okay, so we get a different set of, of images here. Um, and you'll notice that there's there's some options to filter also, right? So we've got all licenses, right? So if we click on that, we can say, um, Use with attribution in the same license, so that's that share alike kind of thing I mentioned earlier. Things you can use with attribution, um, stuff where there's there's no restrictions, you can just kind of do whatever. I'm not sure what other means. Um, I guess you'd have to click on the image and, and see the specifics uh, for that particular particular one. But let's say we want, um, I don't know, use with attribution. Okay, so that changes slightly. Um, we can look for different file types, right? So if you're um, working on something like for a pamphlet, some like that's going to be professionally printed, sometimes they require, pardon me, particular types of files. So you could say, well, I want specifically, you know, PNG files. Um, and then you could narrow that down that way. Um, you can look by size, right? Because you might some, need something that's really big. If there's something small, you got to blow it up. It's not going to look too good. It'll get kind of fuzzy. It has to do with that resolution. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's say we want the large files. All right, so that narrows things down even more. Um, so, you know, you kind of got to play around and, and see what you get. Not sure about the shark. Let's see. If I click on the shark, we've got... Um, it's a nurse shark, so there you go. That's why it's shown up. Uh, we've got the information here on the right, who, who took the photo, um, what kind of Creative Commons attribution it's got. Um, we also have you know, the date, the size, right? So over here towards the bottom and what type of, of file it is and also um, the link to it, right? Because you would need that when you use your att attributions. Um, now, just like with, with Google searching, um, and I kind of demonstrated this earlier, what you get depends on what you look for, right? So there's different there's different terminology. Um, so if I were to look for like healthy diet, see what I get. I get one thing. I get this nifty um, picture of all kinds of different kinds of food um, and Wow, is there ever a description for that? Holy moly. Um, so that's that's one thing, and that might be exactly what I want. You never know. But if I type in healthy eating, 
I might get something different, right? So I still got that one, but I got I got a cat for some reason, and and then some tomatoes, right? Oh, and you know what? Um, my filters are still active. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, I I actually didn't myself. So we've got these with attribution, the PNG, and the large. So if I say I want all file types and all sizes, there we go. That's going to change what I see as well, right? So I've got way more options here. Um, still, I've got these with attribution, but I have I have a lot more that I can go through, see see what's suitable for my needs. Okay. All right. So so that's Wikimedia. Wik <laughs> Party. Pardon me, Wikimedia Commons. Um, like I said, if you if you want a particular one, um, you can uh, get all the information here. And this link here would be to the actual item um, where I can download it. So um, all kinds of information, way more information. Um, so we've got um, where it came from as well. So that's nice. This one was originally from Flickr. And they've got a breakdown of, of the item itself. Um, yeah, and so if I wanted to open it, I could click on the original file. And there we go, I can save that. Save image and, and put it wherever I need it. Okay. Now, um, another even like potential well i guess also a uh, a general kind of source is unsplash um there are a bunch of similar sites so you, i'm sure you've heard of Flickr. there's unsplash there's pixabay uh raw pixel is another one um and these these are are good for like stock photos um usually there's a limit on the number that you can download in a certain period of time like you can't lo do like mass downloads um but um, if you just need a few pictures, then then this is this is nice. Um, and again, these are like your professional uh, photographer type things. So let's try let's try healthcare worker. Let's see what we get. Right, so we've got little options at the top. We can narrow things down. So if we said, well, actually, I put healthcare worker, but I meant nurse. I click on nurse and, and go see those. Um, and you can see you're, you've got a whole bunch of different options. You've got some stethoscopes with teddy bears and, and that kind of thing as well. Um, oh, that's pretty. Um, yeah, and in, in these cases as well, if you were to um, click on the item itself, let's say I like this one, you're gonna get more information about it, right? So we've got, in this case, um, this is a an English NHS nurse staff in personal protective equipment. Um, that's the description. Um, we've got some tags that have been applied so that uh, if you wanted to find similar things, you could say, oh, well, I wanted, you know, healthcare or COVID or COVID-19. Um, and they've got some related things at the bottom in case this isn't what you want after all. And you can, do a download here. They've got different sizes, again, depending on what you need. In this case, the original size is like way bigger than the small, medium, and large. So if you needed something um, that was really big, then you could get that, right? Um, so if you were to say, I just want the small one, okay, it downloads and, oh, it opened up in a different, different frame. Um, and then you could save it. Um, to wherever it is you need and then use it accordingly, right? Um, let me get rid of that. Okay, so that's that's Unsplash. Um, also, if you were doing like your, 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 your seasonal holiday celebration, you, you know, you, you needed like pictures of snowflakes, you could like type in snowflakes. Right, and lo and behold, we've got like a whole pile of pictures of snowflakes. Okay, so wide wide range of, of uh, stuff available in, in these as well. Okay, alrighty. So um, let's 
just take a second here. Um, I mentioned Creative Commons, um, and we were looking at some sites. There is something that I like that I have, I don't know if you can see it very well. There is in the upper right-hand corner of my, my browser, this, this little CC, it's Creative Commons Search. So I'm gonna click on that. And it's just like a little, um, I'm gonna call it an add-on. That's not what they call it, but um, it's not coming to mind. Um, and I can search for images just through that. So if, uh, if I did like the healthy eating again, and I do a search, I, I haven't left the page I'm on, but in this, this little window, um, I see a whole bunch of different stuff. So we've got like a little display of some fruit and vegetables and stuff. Um, there are some some kids, um, not sure what they're holding. We would have to make it a little larger to see, uh, and et cetera, et cetera. We've got a cartoon, look at that. Let, let's check out the cartoon. I like cartoons. Um, so if we look at the information, it's got a credit the creator, no commercial use, share adaptations under the same terms. Okay, so that's, that's all doable. Um, you can download the image and attribution. It says go to images website. So if you want to go to the website, you could do that. And this is actually up in Flickr, so that's interesting. It's not, it's not loading too, too quickly. Okay, let's just, let's go back and do that again. Okay. There is something I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so if we wanted to credit um, this creator, this is this is what really sells this one for me. It's already generated the citation for me. It's got the links and everything. So all I would have to do would be to copy that and put it into you know my Word doc or or what, whatever it is I'm using. Um, and I don't even have to think about, you know, like, okay, what's the title and who's the author and what's the, what's the this and what's the that. It's already got like the link to the, the license and everything. Okay, so can we download that image? Oh, it didn't do it. Okay. You're making me look bad, Creative Commons. Could be because it was taken down in Flickr, maybe, I wonder. Okay, let's try uh, this very healthy salad-like thing. So let's download the image. Oh, yeah, did the text. Okay, let's go to the website. Hmm. Well, it usually works. Let's try something else. Um, let's do, I don't know, pink eye. Okay, so a little, little more variety than might be ideal. Got a fish with pink eyes. Okay, let's see if we can get this going. Download the image and the attribution. So I've got the attribution. And I've got the links. So why don't we copy that, start a new tab. Well, maybe this is not the best one to be, to be showcasing, but that's okay. Um, not to worry, I have one more source that I wanted to look at, um, and that is uh, up to date. So if you're on the, the MyNet site, you look in the, the center here, there's a link to up to date. Um, it's going to make you log in, because uh, it makes me log in too. Um, if you are not on site, if you are at a um, 
health region facility, uh, if you're at Manitoba Health, if you're at Cancer Care, um, it should just let you in. It shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem. Um, but if you are like at home like myself, then then you will need to log in with your with your MyNet card. So let's let's look for Pink Eye. Pink Eye. Um, and in our list of results, we have all kinds of stuff. Um, we've got adults, pediatrics, patient patient information, but we've also got graphics as an option, right? Um, so if we click on that, then we get a whole pile of, of different things. And part of our up-to-date license is that um, you guys are, are allowed to use, you know, various pictures and, and uh, charts and whatnot um, in the graphics if you're doing like a presentation like for rounds or, or what have you, okay? Um, so we could kind of have a look and see, well, what, what 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 do we want for pink eye? Uh, let's say we want this one. Um, Steven Johnson syndrome, to toxic epidermal necrolysis. Um, we can see a little bit bigger version of the picture. We've got a um, little bit of a credit here because apparently this is from Visual DX originally. Um, and we have options at the top. So we can export to PowerPoint, we can print it. Um, it. The share, I believe, is just a link to get to this page. So if you wanted to send somebody to this page, um, you couldn't send the image itself, but, but that's okay. So if you wanted to export to PowerPoint, as an example, you could just click on that and at the bottom here, it's gonna open up. And I've got my nifty slide with, um, my picture, it's got the caption, um, it's got a little thing saying, yep, still copyright copyright applies, um, but we're able to use this if we have like a, an, um, like a nursing education session or something like that, right? Uh, not, not so much pamphlet material anyway, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of nice um, that we have that as well. And obviously this is going to be very, very clinically focused, right? Because um, UpToDate is a uh, clinical decision support tool. So you're gonna have things that are um, more to do with like conditions, um, diagnosis and whatnot, possibly less to do with fruit. Well, let's try fruit and see what happens. Eh, I don't know, not, not so much the same kind of stuff. We've got a thing about allergies. And, and food, and food, pardon me. But that's okay. Like I said, you gotta tailor what you're doing to um, what you want. Um, I will take a couple, we do have a couple more minutes, um, and I will talk really quickly about searching for images in Google. Right. Um, now, Google is, it's good. <laughs> you can find lots of stuff. Um, if you're looking for things that have, um, like the like a Creative Commons license, for example, not not necessarily the best. Um, but here, let's 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 give it a try. So let's look for um, uh, healthcare staff. Right. So if we just do a general search, we've got all our results here, right, for websites, then we've got images underneath, news, etc. So if we can click on images, pardon me. And lo and behold, we've got a ton of different stuff coming up. However, um, this is just stuff that's out on the internet. It is not necessarily stuff that is available for use. Um, so if you have a look underneath that main search box, we've got this tools, if you click on that, um, we can kind of filter things down. So again, we've got things like size and color and, and type of file and stuff like that, but then we've got usage rights. Um, and if we click on that, it breaks it down into like Creative Commons things and commercial and other licenses. Um, I've had some mixed results with this, but let's let's do this. So Creative Commons licenses, that's what we want. Okay, um, so we've got a whole pile of different pictures. Let's say we like the one, um, with this diagnostic imaging machine. Okay, so this one says, uh, get this image on Flickr, license details. Very, very tiny, tiny letters, but let's do that. 
Um, okay, so this one you're free to share, you're free to adapt, you just have to give um, attribution, right? So that, that worked out pretty good. Um, there have been times when I've looked for things and I say, oh, great picture, I like that one. Um, and then I click on it and it says, um, this may be subject to copyright. And then you go to the visit the website that it came from and it does not appear to have Creative Commons licensing. So I think it can be a little hit and miss. You just have to make sure that if you decide to go this route, um, you're conscious of that and you actually look to see what kind of license you're dealing with here. Okay, so let's let's say I like, I don't know, I like this one. What is this one? Um, this is on PX here, free image, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, license details. Oh, this one is also uh, Creative Commons as well. Oh, based on United States law, or okay. Any case, um, yeah. So they have a Creative Commons license on this one too. So that worked out pretty well. Again, at the top, you can narrow things down. You can look at nursing, you can look at um, things that are tagged as hospital. Um, if you don't want picture pictures, you can say, well, I want like drawings or clip art. So I'll say, I want a drawing, you know, a little, little cartoon healthcare folks. Um, and you can download those as well. Okay. So we're just about done. Um, we have a couple of minutes left for questions. So I will, I will st stop there get rid of that and i'll give you a chance to enter some questions in the question box Oh, I see someone has their hand up. Oh, now it's gone. <laughs> oh. All right, well, I'm going to take it that there are no more questions. Um, if you do have uh, questions either about what we talked about um, to do with images or um, MyNet services, um, you know, if you, if you are interested in learning more about that, uh, we do have uh, information on our website. Alternatively, you can, you can, um, send us an email, give us a call, um, and we will do our best to answer. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to be sending out an email after, um, the, uh, the video is, is finished rendering. Um, it's going to be available online if you want to see it again. Um, likewise, I'm going to send you a handout um, with links to specific resources um, and also the handout with the slides. Um, and then we've also got a, a little bit of a, a feedback survey so you can uh, evaluate the session um, and tell, let us know what you thought. So, um, oh, thanks very much. I, I have a comment that, that this was helpful, so I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Um, and yeah, so if you, if you guys, um, have questions, I'm, I'm going to stick around for a couple minutes, um, other coming, um, and we'll see you next time.